perfect. Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a while since I've posted a trip video, but in all honesty, it's because I really haven't been on any trips. I had a back injury and I had some personal things that I was going through, um, but now I'm back on the trail and today, today is a wonderful treat. Today we're gonna be doing a small portion of the Arizona Trail. Started off this morning and at Washington Park, headed northbound, you know, steady climb uphill. We took a side trail to something called the Railway Tunnel. Apparently, um, back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, I don't even know when it was, there was this big idea to um, create a railroad track that came through this area all the way up to Flagstaff. They ran out of money and what was left of it was, you know, kind of a tunnel that doesn't actually complete. It's just kind of like a hole in the rock. So we climbed that, but it was full of graffiti. I decided to go into the tunnel and touch the very back end of it. And um, it was dark, very dark. And um, yeah, let me put that clip in there right now. I'm scared to look. I'm scared to look. Oh, you can't see nothing. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm getting my phone. I'm gonna turn my flashlight on. My flashlight's on, you can't see. But it's a flashlight from my phone, so it's not gonna show much. Ooh. Anyway, it's only about another 30 feet, but I'm not gonna go back that way. Uh, I'm not going back there. Ooh, I'm scared. All right, check it out, check it out. Hey Cassidy, yeah. can you come this way? Yeah. I just wanna, cause on the camera, the, the uh, opening looks really small. But I just want you to stand like right there in the sun. Yeah. So we could see just how big this is. Pretty cool. Did you come all the way back here? Yeah, I did. Did you go all the way and touch the wall? Yeah. Oh! It's like musty in the back there. Cool. Like it smells like, like a cave. All right. I'm gonna, okay. I'm going to do it. All right. So I'm going to go. This is the the entrance, but I'm gonna go in there and you'll see how dark it gets. So, try and keep the light on me, but let's go in there. Okay, I can't keep it on me because I can't see anything. All right, hang on, how am I gonna do this? All right. Oh, man, I don't think you guys can see anything. All right, so I'll keep it on me, we'll go like this. Oh my goodness. All right, we made it to the end. Here we go, and look at the, look at the sand. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Whoa. 
Wow! Creepy. This is so creepy. And that was really cool. Let's get out of here. So yeah, I'm a big poo-poo crybaby. I don't like dark places. I don't like being in tunnels. Um, it just seemed like haunted and weird. But um, I did it, it was fun. So then after that, we decided to come uh, more north up the rim, made it up the rim and decided to have lunch at the General Springs Cabin. Now the General Springs Cabin is part of the Cabin Loop, which is a very popular trail out here that a lot of people do. I have yet to do it. I've done a small portion of it, but one day I'll be able to say that I did the whole thing. At that point, we came across three gallons of water that were sitting there and they said hound on it. I know that hound has never been on this channel, but if a few months ago on one of my trips, he's a hiker I met out here on the trail and he is doing training hikes to prepare himself for his through hike of the AT next year. Awesome, awesome guy. Um, I really enjoy talking to him about the trail, especially the AT, because as you know, that is my goal um, to get out of debt, to save some money and through hike the AT in 2022. So it's really cool to have like somebody, uh, you know, in my proximity in my same city who's actually has, who actually has the same goal as me. So that's pretty cool. He also has a YouTube channel. So go check out his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link down below. It is Spirited Introvert and that is Hound. Cool guy, cool guy shoots really good footage. So we kept walking and we were kind of concerned, wondering where all the water was. Eventually we ran into some hikers who said that there was plenty of water. So we just continued down. We found this really awesome campsite. We got our tent set up. We probably got to camp around just a little bit after 3 p.m. Got our tent set up. We've been, we've just been chilling. Got some water filtered. Um, the water, yeah, the water, it's just, it's just ugly and dirty but you know what that's the life of a backpacker and to be honest I've I had really more awful water sources than that so <clears throat> it's all good we'll be fine it's a little chilly it's not it's probably gonna go get into the 40s tonight um, but yeah after being in hundred degree weather in, in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, it's pretty nice up here. So the weather's finally changing. It's absolutely amazing, completely and totally beautiful. But total mileage today we did about, I wanna say like seven and a half miles, which is pretty good um, considering that I haven't really backpacked in well over a month. I haven't really done anything physical in well over a month, like I said, with a back injury and stuff like that. We're just chilling, hanging out. I think eventually the temperature is gonna get a lot lower, probably into the 40s tonight. Right now it's probably a good 65, 70 degrees. Now, when you get to camp, you're all sweaty and then you get a slight breeze and it gets a little cold in the shade. So I got some layers on and um, yeah. So we're just gonna stay warm, eat some dinner and uh, just enjoy our time out here. I know for me, it's um, it's very ther therapeutic to be out here. So I'm gonna go hang out with my friends for a little bit, shoot some more video. So we'll see you soon. So we're just about out. We're just about finished with this amazing trip. It's been absolutely beautiful. The weather has been perfect. It was a little chilly last night, probably 37, eight ish. But um, I slept very warm. I was very comfortable. Um, 
yeah, we just had a really good time. Good conversation, good crowd. Now we got about a 25 minute drive to where we're gonna be eating and that's important. Actually for breakfast, I didn't really have, have much breakfast. Um, I had a couple of handfuls of the uh, Omega truck mix that I love. That's from Trader Joe's, it's the best. So I had some of that, but that was it. I skipped coffee. I actually had to, I got up, I got packed up and I'm doing a couch to 5K and I started it last week. And I'm on the day where, today's the day where I have to run or I have to walk five, five minutes, run three minutes, walk five minutes. So, I mean, I'm like hiking out of here at seven and a half miles, but I didn't want to, um, I just almost lost my whole entire face. I didn't want to um, cheat it. I wanna do that program. So I got up this morning, did all my stuff, and then went to um, walk five minutes up the trail, run three minutes, which was, it was, kind of challenging just because there were so many rocks. And then walk another five minutes, and then walk another two hours, three hours. I don't know how long it's taking us to get out of here. But yeah, that's really important to me. I wanna try and uh, um, straight, stay true to my word and, and hike, I mean, and run. So we're almost to the cars. Then it's gonna be time to eat. Let's go eat. Made it to Payson and we went to Mackey's. That's where usually we always go. And I ordered a lot of calories and I don't feel bad about it. I hardly had much of a breakfast this morning. Anyway, I think I tied my shoes too tight because once I loosened them up, ooh, man, my feet hurt. But I'm walking to the gas station. I gotta get money out of the ATM in order to help chip in for gas and pay for my meal. And it was an amazing trip. Uh, oh man, I love backpacking so much. Great views, great people, time alone to think about stuff. I mean, it was just a wonderful trip. It was needed, I needed that. So I'm gonna head back to the city refreshed and ready to kill it this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Laters.